Hi, I'm Brian Corley, Supervisor of Elections for Pasco County. Poll worker team members find Election Day begins well before the first vote arrives at the polling place and does not end when the last voter exits the polling room. So, we have prepared this video to show you what you can expect on a typical Election Day, although there usually is no such thing as a typical Election Day. We call this video the big picture, as it illustrates the entire process of setting up a polling place, processing voters throughout the day, and the closing down of the polling place. It is election morning. The poll worker team arrives at the polling place no later than 6 a.m. Once all team members have arrived, the setup process may begin. However, at 6 a.m., you must start setting up even if a team member has not arrived. The precinct supervisor will have supplies with them needed for the team to complete the opening procedures. Who is the team? The precinct supervisor is the person in charge of all activities at a polling place. They are ultimately responsible for the performance of the precinct on election day. The voting system specialist, or VSS, is responsible for the voting equipment at the polling place. They perform the opening and closing procedures for the DS200 optical scanner and the ADA express vote. They also assist voters with ballot issues throughout the day. The attendant assist the VSS during opening and closing procedures. Once the polls open, they assist voters at the DS200 optical scanner and in their privacy booth area throughout the day. The EVID specialist is responsible for the opening and closing of the electronic poll book known as EVID. The specialist also verifies voter eligibility and may be required to complete paperwork before processing voters. They contact the Election Day Command Center throughout the day as needed. The EVID operator assists the EVID specialist during opening and closing procedures. Once the polls open, they verify voter eligibility using the EVID unit issuing voting passage eligible voters. The ballot distributor is responsible for verifying and reconciling ballots during opening and closing procedures. Throughout the day, they collect voting passes and issue a paper ballot to all eligible voters that have been processed by the EVID team. The poll deputy is stationed outside and in accordance with Florida statutes, maintains law and order at the polling place. They set up the outside of the polling place and assist voters throughout the day as needed. What equipment is used at the polling place? EVID is an electronic poll book used to verify voter eligibility. After being located on the EVID, voters sign a signature pad and are issued a voting pass, which they use to receive a paper ballot. DS200 is an optical ballot scanner. After marking their ballot at a privacy booth, a voter will insert their ballot into the DS200 where the ballot is read, tabulated, and deposited into the ballot box. AD Express Vote is a universal voting system for all voters, including those with disabilities. The system is a combination of paper-based and touchscreen voting. Voters are even able to listen to audio ballots on this device. Let's watch the poll worker team as they prepare the polling place for voting. The team enters the polling room where the precinct supervisor calls the command center to let them know they are in the building. They read aloud the poll worker oath and each team member signs the payroll sheet. Then, the precinct supervisor gives the EVID specialist and the VSS their supplies. At this point, many activities begin to happen all at the same time. Each team member has specific assignments to complete before 7 a.m. Let's focus on three main areas of setup, the EVIDs, the voting equipment, and the ballots. Let's begin with the EVID setup. The EVID specialist begins to open their equipment according to the step-by-step -step procedures read aloud to them by the EVID operator. The specialist uses the supplies received from the precinct supervisor and from their supply tote to set up their equipment and the EVID stations. The check-in station, EVID, is located on a table near the entrance of the polling room. The help desk, EVID, is located on a table designated for the EVID specialist to process voters requiring paperwork and receive phone bank assistance when needed. Supplies are distributed to each EVID station by following the step-by-step -step instructions listed 
in the setting up EVID station procedures. Next, let's look at the voting equipment setup. The VSS removes their procedures envelope from their supply tote. Voting equipment preparation begins with the attendant reading step-by-step -step opening instructions allowed to the VSS. The DS200 is located near the exit of the polling room where it is plugged in and prepared to receive ballots. After designating the place for voters to wait to scan their ballot, the VSS and attendant begin to set up the ADA Express vote. The ADA Express vote is located on a table near an electrical outlet and is set up for use. Privacy booths are set up in an area where sufficient space is available in the polling room allowing for a smooth flow of voter traffic. A ballot marking pen is placed in each booth during setup procedures. Finally, let's take a look at the ballot setup table. The paper ballots are delivered to the polling place in the supply cage. The ballot distributor removes all boxes of ballots from the cage and places them on a table located between the EVID check-in station and the privacy booths. The ballot distributor verifies the seal numbers and the quantity of ballots received. When verification is complete, the ballot distributor sets up the ballots table according to procedures. Meanwhile, the poll deputy has been outside setting up all signage and parking areas following the instructions listed on their poll deputy reference card. The precinct supervisor sets up the information table near the entrance to the polling room. They also set up their table, which is positioned in a location where they will be able to oversee all activities in the polling room. As team members complete their opening tasks, they report to the supervisor for any additional tasks. When the polling place has been completely set up, the precinct supervisor gives the EVID specialist the yellow card from their supplies. The specialist will follow the procedures on the card to notify the command center their polling place is ready for voting. At 7 a.m., the precinct supervisor announces to all poll workers that the polls are open. Let the voting begin. The poll deputy greets voters as they approach the polling place and reminds them to have their photo and signature identification ready. Once inside the polling room, the voter sees instructional materials on a table near the entrance. These materials are helpful when a voter needs to review a sample ballot, learn how to scan their voted ballot, or read important information regarding polling place etiquette. All information on this table is bilingual. When ready, the voter proceeds to the check-in here station, where they are greeted by the EVID operator. The operator asks for the voter's photo and signature identification and verifies the voter standing in front of them is the voter on the identification. The operator then locates the voter's record on the EVID. Once located, the operator verifies the voter's information on the EVID with the ID provided. When ready, the EVID operator has the voter sign the signature pad and compares the signature on the screen with the signature on the identification. When the signature is accepted, the voter's unique voting pass prints on the EVID printer. The operator gives the voter their ID and their voting pass and directs the voter to take their voting pass to the ballot distributor who is stationed at the ballot table. The ballot distributor issues the appropriate paper ballot as indicated on the voting pass. The voter is given their ballot inside a secrecy sleeve and is directed to a privacy booth where they will mark their ballot. After marking their ballot, the voter proceeds to the DS200 optical scanner. The attendant at the DS200 greets the voter and asks them to insert their ballot into the DS200. The DS200 reads and tabulates the ballot, drops the ballot into the ballot box, and displays a message indicating the voting process is complete. The attendant collects the secrecy sleeve from the voter while thanking them for voting and offering them an I Voted sticker. Sometimes a voter will require extra processing due to a name or address change, not having proper identification, requiring assistance in voting, or having been issued a mail ballot. These situations are handled at the help desk. The EVID specialist at the help desk makes any required changes, contacts the phone bank when necessary, and completes paperwork. Eligible voters are given a voting pass and directed to the ballot distributor to receive their ballot while the precinct supervisor accompanies all provisional voters to the ballot's table. When voters require assistance in voting, 
they may bring anyone with them to assist them in the voting booth. If poll workers are the ones assisting the voter, the precinct supervisor will have another team member of opposing political affiliation assist them in helping the voter. Paperwork may be required in these situations. At 7 p.m., the precinct supervisor announces the polls are closed and has the poll deputy get in line behind the last voter. Once the last voter has voted and exited the polling room, the closing process may begin. Each team member has specific duties to complete, but the whole team participates in the closing efforts. Let's watch as the entire team works together to close the polling place. As in the opening of the polls, many activities are going on at the same time during the closing of the polls. Once again, we'll focus on three main areas, the ballots, the voting equipment, and the EVITs. Let's begin with the reconciliation of ballots. The VSS and precinct supervisor remove all ballots from the ballot box. They take the voted ballots to an empty table where the ballot distributor completes the necessary form, accounts for all ballots, and prepares the ballots for return to the collection site. Once the ballots have been reconciled, the ballot distributor repacks their supplies. Their critical items that are required to be returned election night are placed in their giant Ziploc bag. The ballot distributor gives their giant Ziploc and all ballot boxes to the precinct supervisor. Their remaining supplies are packed into their supply tote, and then the tote is returned to the supply cage. Next, let's look at the closing of the voting equipment. Once the auxiliary bin ballots are processed, the VSS and attendant follow step-by-step -step instructions for modeming results to the counting center. After modeming is complete, the precinct supervisor and VSS remove all ballots from the ballot box and take them to a clear table for the ballot distributor. The DS200 is then closed and prepared for pickup by the elections office. The VSS and attendant then follow step-by-step -step instructions for closing the ADA Express vote. Once the unit is closed, it is placed in its black case and the case is returned to the supply cage. The VSS and attendant follow instructions for packing the VSS bag and give the bag to the precinct supervisor for return to the collection site. The VSS and attendant then repack their supplies in the VSS supply tote. The tote is then returned to the supply cage. Lastly, let's look at the closing of the EVIDs. The EVID operator reads step-by-step -step closing instructions to the specialist. Each unit is closed and voting pass total tapes are given to the ballot distributor for ballot reconciliation. Once closed, the units and their accessories are returned to the EVID case. The case is then returned to the supply cage. The EVID team gathers all items required by the precinct supervisor for return to the collection site. Then the team repacks their supplies in the EVID supply tote and returns the tote to the supply cage. Meanwhile, the poll deputy has dismantled all outside setup and reported to the precinct supervisor for additional duties. Privacy booths are disassembled and packed by any team member once their closing assignments are complete. The privacy booths should be repacked into the appropriate boxes. The boxes are then stacked on top of the pallet they were delivered on and placed with the items to be picked up by the elections office. As team members complete their closing procedures, they report to the supervisor for any additional closing tasks. When all closing procedures have been completed, the precinct supervisor surveys the polling place and verifies it has been returned to its original state or better. They also verify all team members have given them their critical items of return and that the other supplies have been returned to the supply cage. The supervisor then closes the cage doors and locks and seals the cage. Team members help gather all the supplies the supervisor and VSS will be returning to the collection site. They exit the polling place together and help the supervisor and VSS load the car they will be taking to the collection site. The polling place is secured by the supervisor if required. 
The workers are dismissed as the supervisor and the VSS drive together to the collection site. At the collection site, the supervisor and VSS hand over all their supplies. The required supplies are checked off by a receiving team before the supervisor and VSS leave the collection site. I hope this video has been helpful in demonstrating what a typical election day experience may be like for you as a poll worker. I cannot thank you enough for your willingness to not only become part of our team, but part of our election day family by serving the voters of Pasco County. As we know, there are many stakeholders in election administration, but it's important that we never forget the most important stakeholder, the voters. Again, thank you. Ha, ha, ha.